day two. Man, it's like six o'clock in the morning. It's time to take the car back. Took her on one last drive. Got her warmed up. It's probably a little dark. There she is. The car runs so good, man. It's so surprising. What they did back in 1993, they did good stuff. Uh, at least in Europe. They didn't send us the good stuff, but it was pretty decent back then. One thing about this seat is it's not as adjustable as you would kind of hope for. I'm clearly a bigger man, so even in this big old car, I find a way to not be comfortable or as comfortable as I should be. Uh, the seats are really nice for the year. And uh, I'm not sure if there were caros or what's going on in there, but it's definitely a uh, it's definitely a cool car and heck of a heck of an opportunity to be able to drive one of these. Anyways, this is the early part of the day. Uh, I will check back in as we move through it. Maybe next time. Man, this car, it seems like it's so long. Oh, well, what is this? This is what I will drive here in a little bit today. It's like a, another BMW. 428 Grand Coupe. Grand Coupe. Oh, interior, can't really see due to reflection. The interior looks nice. We'll check back. All right, just a little bit better lighting. Wanted to give you guys the quick little walk around on this thing. I do believe it's a 2015 BMW Grand Coupe. Back seat, it's pretty tight in there, guys. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty tight. The front seat is almost a good portion of the way back, but it is pretty tight. Interior. It is nice in here. It is nice. Every bit of it. Every bit of it. It's got the M Sport package, so it's got some nicer wheels. And it looks like, if you can see in there, it's got that blue M caliper. Pretty cool car. It's way quicker. Way quicker than you thought. It's got three or four different modes once you put it into crackhead sport mode. The tail end does get out a little bit when you get on the throttle anyways here she is and we will be back maybe next time all right we're in pretty nice pretty nice ride here four series grand coupe let's see what she's got as we welcome the these things are definitely made for the everyday man. I mean, it's pretty surprising how comfortable. All I had to do was do just a few seat manipulations here and I just feel like this thing has got me, got me hooked in. It's a pretty cool car, man. Looks like they have all the sport buttons and stuff that everybody wants. Sport, Sport Plus, whatever you want to do there freaking parking brake whatever that is there's one here too what does that mean anyways i drive or whatever they call it this one has all the eco dynamic stuff you can see on the gauge all that green there this is you cycle through comfort who would ever drive it in eco mode why would they do that Let's go back up to Sport Plus with traction off. Oh, dynamic traction. Okay. Cool. Alright. More to come. More to come. Nashville traffic. 911. No, it's not 911. December 6th. Great. Downtown. Straight rolling. Man, traffic ain't too bad this morning. My peoples, a little mergy merge, a little downshifting. Man, can you? I know 
without zooming, y'all can't see where it says what gear that I am shifting into or out of. The gear indicator is so tiny on this car. It's like they decided to not even have it. They have the speed up front there in the little hologram. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, little, little Michael Bolton on these motherfuckers. Whoa, it's a high speed on a busy interstate. Anyways, maybe next time. Bye for now, purple car. We're back in the car. We're going to Global Motorsports to let Bobitel sell some random car to some random person. Actually, I think it's a Mercedes truck, a SUV of some form. And uh, I'm going to hop in one of a couple cars, and I may take a random test drive if I'm there. So hopefully we'll get at that. Until then, we're going to be sitting in this parking lot waiting for Bo Biddle to Red Bull us. All right, we made it. I know the wind is horrible, so I'm going to get behind the camera. We made it here. Up to Global. Looks like they got some cleaning going on over there. Pretty sure you know which one I'm going to choose to ride home. But we can talk about that later. Look at this place. They got all kinds of cars up here, huh? All kinds of cool cars up here. Little Panamera S. And that water pressure, water hose thing over there is pretty loud. Looks like the SUV lane up there. Pretty cool place. All right. Check back. All right, well, floorboard's a little dirtier. Car number 600 of the day. Ford Fusion. Ford Fusion with the uh, flip out blade key like you're in some kind of Weird flick. Get her in there. Mm. Wait, windshield wipers. How do you turn these guys off? I guess down? All right, cool. Well, we're off. Bo's going to sell some kind of car. We're going to leave the M3 here another night. Let it get cleaned up, and then we'll take it back. Um, check back here in a couple hours. Right. That was some pretty horrible zoom activity there. Next plan is to go to Mount Juliet and begin the process of getting that wagon back. That's right, people. We're getting the wagon, after all. Anyways, let's do this. Okay, guys. We are at stage whatever of the day. I think it's step number 12. We're at Bank of America. Trying to get some money out to go buy this station wagon. <laughs> this station wagon. God, when you say it like that, it just doesn't seem right. Anyways, M5 Touring coming up soon. Okay, we're at Bank Numero Dos to pull money out of that account now. You'd think we'd have it all in one place. Not so much. Maybe soon. Maybe one of these days it'll all just be Bitcoin. It's a great idea. Coming up next. Bitcoin. Great. Alright, so bank number two, we're done. The middle. We're good to go. We're ready to go buy all that. We're good to go. Purple car. Awesome. That's what we're doing. All right, well, next up, time to meet Cars of Coffee Dave. Coming at you live. He's gonna do it live. Great. If you didn't know about Nashville, Tennessee, and traffic, it starts at about 3.30 nowadays, all around town and such. Great. Traffic. They almost didn't have enough for it. What is that? A bunch of ones? Yeah, pretty much. It's all twenties. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's a strange little neighborhood. We're coming in. I know it's dark, but we're back. 
We've got an envelope. It's going to secure our happiness. Let's look at the car one more time before the battery dies. A bit old battery dying. Give a big thumbs up out there. Alright guys, day two recap. Took the car back, dropped it off. Went and picked the car back up. Drove all over the place. We now own an E34 M5 Touring Wagon. One of one in the country. Can't wait to do more on it. And I got to drive the M3 home. Battery died so I couldn't get it all. Anyways. Working on the video, get it posted here a little bit. Make sure to hit subscribe, smash the like button. Maybe next time.